Jesus Christ. Let me come around. How you doing, Roy? Congratulations. Hector, large old blue eyes for this gentleman. Uh. Soft drinks of choice. Settle in, my friend. It is time. Today's video is a juicer. Take a look at my posterity roll, first of all. Just look at it. Killing win, rampage, accurate rounds, full auto. This is a real juicy one, my friends. That's right, this is a full auto legendary hand cannon. Thanks to full auto retrofit. Yes, this is the legendary last word. Well, it's not really, I'm just kidding. Before we get into the real nitty gritty here though, and I talk about how awesome this actually is and how this is not a gimmick and that with this specific hand cannon, this is actually a viable mod to use. That's right, not capping, not pulling your chain, not yanking your chain, no clickbait. Well, obviously there's always some clickbait. This is YouTube. But you know what I mean. So before we get into it, I have a few questions for you guys. Do you guys think that this gun is going to slap with this mod? If you think it is going to slap, then it's very simple. Leave a comment below right now saying slap. And in return, I will slap a big juicy heart on your comment. It's a fair trade, you know. You leave comment, I leave heart, okay? That's it. That's all I'm saying. Also, please do me a huge favor and join my Discord. There is a link down below. Join the Discord, come stay updated, join my little community, and uh, let's see what's going down. Also, follow me on Twitch as well, twitch.tv forward slash shake. Right, with all that out of the way, it's time to talk about the posterity. This thing is obviously one of my favorite 180 RPM hand cannons in the game, and it was an obvious choice for me and the number one contender to be paired with the full auto retrofit. Now, I should go without saying that 140s and 120s definitely do not feel good when paired with this mod. You don't want to use those weapons in full auto. You want to really be timing your shots to your preference, not holding down the trigger. Now, 180s are different to 140s and 120s because they shoot in a basically a straight line and they function more like a scout rifle than a traditional hand cannon. And so pairing full auto with this feels far less alien and just odd. In fact, specifically with the posterity, with its just natural buttery smoothness, it feels just natural. Because the gun is so smooth and so accurate and so consistent that it's actually really nice man. I don't have to waste my time spamming the trigger. I can focus more on my tracking and my strafing. And that's important on a 180 because you want to be consistent with your shots. Imperative that you hit your optimal TTK because it's not good in the first place. And then strafing is really important as well because you want to make your opponent miss so that he doesn't get his optimal TTK. Because if they do, they will probably kill you. Example, any hand cannon, like a 120 or a 140. They hit you with three crits, you're dead. So making them miss a crit or two is very, very vital to making this weapon feel anywhere near effective. Of course, 180s are not meta in the current sandbox. But there are a couple of things I've done here to leverage this weapon in my favor. Inertia override allows me to three tap with the 180. Rampage and killing wind buff the range and damage after a kill. It has 13 in the mag. Need I go on? This gun is a stat monster. It has no recoil. Look at this thing. Can you guys, listen, I have another question and let me know in the comment section. Can you notice the full auto? Can you tell that I'm at full auto? Or does it just look like a normal posterity? Because it's definitely one of those look versus feel situations because it feels so good. It feels so natural. A couple of times I noticed it didn't feel good and that is when I missed my first shot. You really, really need to hit that first crit and then the rest will follow and you can just really gently and easily track and just put your damage in. Guys gonna peek and I am ready to hold the trigger and just spam my four shots, man. It's a spam cannon, baby. Legendary last word, woo! Listen, it kind of is a legendary last word when you get a damage buff going though, it really is. If I have Rampage and Inertia and I'm hitting 60s to the head at full auto, it really does feel nice and snappy. Of course, it is not anything like a last word three crit. That shit is crazy. It's not on that level, but it's just something of its own, man. These guys weren't ready for it. They just were not ready for it, my friends. Just like this guy wasn't ready for the tractor cannon. It just felt like a solid combination. It really feels like a match made, maybe not in heaven, but you know, maybe in Ikea. I don't know. It's nice though. You know what I'm saying? I like it. This guy on the other team does not like it. We are in rumble right now. And listen, <laughs> something really funny happened in this game. And I'm not trying to shame this guy, but obviously it's kind of hard. 
Basically, there's a funny Titan moment in this game. Right? This Titan, he was shotgunning me all game, right? And then, well, let the pictures tell you everything. I damn, miss me? I missed you too, man. Anyway, listen. Sometimes Heritage had to come out of the back pocket. But mainly, it's all about this full auto posterity. Look at this. Buttery smooth. Get one, turn around, and just keep spamming. It is absolutely beautiful. All of that range and damage on Killing Wind and Rampage. We slide over that special brick. And now this next guy, well, he is in trouble unless he absolutely rolls me with his shoddy. Look at me, I'm spamming away. Got 13 in the mag, dude. I ain't gonna stop. I ain't gonna stop. Now I've got a damage buff. Ooh. Ooh, oh, no, no. Stop trying to straight line me, brother. It's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work how you think it's gonna work, man. The full auto posterity, the full auto legendary hand cannon. Look at that. Bing, bam, boom. Do you know what I am saying? And this guy's off on a little journey. Watch your back, mate. Oof. Oof, that guy is going to need a massage after that one. Oof, that warlock's eating concrete for dinner. Oh my god. Oh, the full auto. Oh, bruh. New meta? Question mark. Is this the new meta? No, but it definitely feels juicy though. And if it feels juicy, it feels good. Oh, by the way, consider this a little bit of a preview right here. Quick charge blasphemer. You know what I'm saying? Is this the new legendary slug shotgun meta though? is it we shall see my friends we shall see i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did do me a huge favor drop a like on the video comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace out